Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome from coast to coast and around the globe. The circus has come to town here in Hotlanta. I'm Joe Galli, joined by May Valentine and the good doctor himself, Dr. Robert Stinson, from the This Is Pro Wrestling podcast. We are coming to you live on YouTube 30 minutes before our gangbuster pay-per-view win our shadows fall. You can still pre-order right now on Fight TV. That's exactly what you should do. May, I'm going to toss it to you first. How excited are you to be here tonight? I'm absolutely thrilled we have an amazing card I'm looking forward to all the matches pretty much but especially to the world's women championship and the heavyweight championship oh man it's gonna be an exciting night and doctor the good doctor how you feel being here at the desk oh I'm absolutely pumped I'm thrilled to be here with you Joe of course with May Valentine with uh, everybody watching at home it's a great day for the National Wrestling Alliance you can feel how heavy the air is because it's weighted with history that's right it is we got a live crowd inside the NWA arena who is excited so they're great. on the edge of their seats but we're going to go through and talk about some of the matches that you will be seeing coming up at Win Our Shadows Fall, which is going to be on Fight TV. Let's talk about the first match that we're going to be seeing here, the Fatal 4-Way Lucha Rules match. I mean, we got some real heavy hitters in that, don't we, Doc? you got Mecha Wolf. you got Bestia 6 representing uh, AAA. You've got Sal Renaro, Sam Rudo, who has... Oh, man, Rudo making a debut here. Fantastic. Incredible. With his own lucha background as well. You know, spent two years in Mexico, so I'm excited about that to see how oh, that plays out. Look, we already got to move on. We got plenty of competitors in that, but coming up next, we got an ultimate grudge match. Take a look, Tyrus with Austin Idol taking on Pope. Non-title match, but I mean, they have probably the hottest feud in professional wrestling right now. This is all about good old-fashioned hate, and uh, we're going to see it play out here today. And, you know, our women's division is on fire. We've got Thunder Rosa teaming with Molina. They wow. had some friction before. They buried the hatchet, and Taryn Terrell and Kylie Ray are going to give them the business. Stop. Talking about business, look at this. We got Rosser versus JTG. Fred Rosser, he's going to have his hands full. These two talk about a long history. Oh, my gosh. Going back for nearly 20 years. Um, blockbuster match. And look, a tag team titles are on the line. It's Aaron Stevens and Kratos, the champions, going up against Latimer and Adonis Strictly Business and the War Kings. And then after that, it is the Women's Championship. We talked about it. Camille has her opportunity to have her name etched in history. She's taking on the champion, Serena Deeb. And then, of course, it is our main event. The World's Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Nick Aldis going up against Trevor Murdoch. But we've got some action for you folks right here for free on YouTube. Let's throw it to Kyle Davis for the introductions. The following match is a triple threat. Coming to the ring first, from the nebular emission spiral, he weighs in at 185 pounds, this is Captain Yuma! I've known Captain Yuma for a number of years. This guy is out of this world. And his opponent, one half of Hawks Airy, from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 184 pounds, this is PJ Hawks! Someone a lot in the NWA. That's right, someone very familiar with the NWA in this triple threat matchup. And coming out, the third contestant from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 184 pounds, this is Colby Carino! Talk about another man with a lot of history, a second generation wrestler, just like PJ Hawks, but I mean, Steve Carino, Doc, I'm gonna toss it to you, a lot of history there. Yeah, this is one of the, the true blue bloods in, uh, uh, among second generation. Oh my goodness! Oh, goodness gracious. He might be a blue chipper with a roundhouse kick like that, taking Yuma out of orbit for this matchup, but look at the skills there from P.J. Hawks. Obviously indicating that, that, that second generation lineage that both these two athletes carry. Man, look at these two going, really showing off that amateur style wrestling into a cover. Wow, shoulders down again. I mean, Kobe has a lot to prove, you know? Yeah, he's got a lot to live up to. Absolutely. It looks like he's going to take a little bit of respite. Captain Yuma has got back to his feet. Got some strikes against PJ. Trying to take the larger competitor down. Went for a big chop and missed. It looks like he's about to be launched. He's trying to fight it out. Gets it out. Gets the spacing, the separation. Up on the middle rope. Coming in with a full head of steam. Oh, and a cross body. I've never seen that before, Doctor. No, no, no. He's, he's bringing a... Uh, uh, a special style of aerial assault here that uh, we're not all that familiar with. Oh, and, big miss, and then the axe kick to the top of the head. That was brutal. Oh, what? Savage beatdown. Kobe 
Moreno is a savage. And, and you know, in the back of their minds, they, both of these two, PJ and Kobe, they, they, it's almost like they have something to prove to each other. Yeah, very true. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on you when you have to sort of come out. Oh, into the stunner! That was an amazing maneuver. What a transition. This has got to be it. Yuma in for the save. That's as close as it gets, Joe. Oh, I think that was a poke in the eye. Pretty blatantly right in front of our lead referee, Robert King. I don't know. I'm not sure that was intentional there, Joe. And now, oh, Carino. My goodness, his feet are so educated, they might have a doctorate, doctor. <laughs> Great escape there from PJ, follows it up on a huge lariat. Look at that power, just deadlifting into the vertical. You. We're talking millimeters there, Joe. May, what about this incredible action? People getting for free on YouTube. I mean, I predict that these two guys are going to have quite the beef. They have a lot in common, actually. They really do. I mean, and then you've got Captain Yuma there as well, making a debut here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Oh, but look at that. The dragon screw with the middle rope involved in that maneuver. PJ, I, I mean, that's a possibly career-ending And look at this, Captain Yuma, the, ever the veteran, checking on checking on the other competitor, but Colby Carino taking advantage of the that's distraction. Right. That's right. You've got to oh, no. your face to the opponent, not your back. So that's on you. That's on there Yuma. it is, the sunsetter. Boom. The winner of this match, Colby Carino. Colby Carino has made a statement here on our pre-show for when our shadows fall with a monumental victory here. I mean, that, that's going to reverberate for years to come. But first, now I should say, now we're going to be going to our resident ringmaster, Kyle Davis. Thank you, Joe Galley. Right now, fans, thank you for joining us. I would like to welcome the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Nick Aldis. Champ, we're live. It's the pre-show. People all throughout the world are watching. But tonight, the man that you have tried to hold down is rising up against big challenger there. 960 days today could all come to an end when Trevor Murdoch challenges for that championship belt. Listen, Kyle, I know that the atmosphere is electric. I know that the anticipation is thick. And I know that emotions are running high, especially after that emotional video package that showed Trevor Murdoch bear his soul for all to see about how much it would mean to him to walk out of Atlanta with the world's heavyweight wrestling championship. But never forget, just because you got used to seeing me at the top doesn't mean that I don't feel the exact same way every day of my life. And as I stand here on day 960, I make this promise to you, I make this promise to the world that I will march forward to day 1000 as the linear, legitimate, and universally recognized heavyweight champion of the world. And when our shadows fall is just a name because only one shadow falls over the NWA and that's mine. And until such a day as some man takes this from me, that is the way it is, and you know this to be true. More action still to come. Let's get to it. An emphatic statement by the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. I know, yeah. Doc, you're a big fan. Well, I, I know greatness when I see it, and I, I respect the man. The following match is singles competition. Coming to the ring first, from Chicago, Illinois, this is Sky Blue. We got to move right along, folks, as we get closer and closer to our pay-per-view. When our shadows fall, available on Fight TV. You can order it right now. And her opponent, from an undisclosed location, this is Genocide. 
Here's someone that a lot of NWA fans are very familiar with, Genocide. I mean, she is a total powerhouse. May absolutely. Yeti, you were in the women's locker room. You had a chance to talk to both of these women. I mean, Jenna is absolutely fiercest. She's not afraid of anything, you know? And she's definitely not afraid of Sky Blue. And what was Sky Blue? What, what was going through her mind? Sky Blue is just, you know, she's 22 years old. And she's killing it right now. Oh, Genocide taking advantage in the early goings of this matchup. And right now I want to take a moment and thank all of our fans that are watching us live on YouTube. We know that this was kind of our, our home for wrestling for a long time. We've now transitioned with our new partners with Fight TV. We do hope that you do join us there where you'll see incredible action just like this with Sky Blue delivering that beautiful moonsault drop kick. Now a full head of steam. Gets the monkey flip on that much larger competitor into the cover, getting a one count. Oh, with a big boot. I mean, the physical difference here is apparent, Joe. Uh, Sky Blue is a prodigy, crazy talented. But She's only been uh, wrestling for five years, actually. Just, and look at that, the viciousness. Oh, wow. The viciousness of Jenna. She is just an overpowering specimen there, Genocide is. And mean machine. <laughs> You know, both of these women have to be very interested in what's going to happen at our pay-per-view. And look at the smart. That was a veteran maneuver there by Genocide, staying exactly where she was, knowing that Sky Blue was going to come right back to her. And now into the cover. Look at the inside, like two counts. Nope. And Joe, for me, this is like, this is a mathematical equation. I mean, it, it can, I don't see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's in right, right in front of, right in front of Jared Fritz, our referee. Back up. What was your mathematical equation? The size differential, man. I mean, oh, it, it, it's there. Yep. So th there's just a sense of inevitability here. You know, you bring that up, though, is this could be an interesting sort of preview for what we might have in our co-main event with the Women's World's Championship because there's a similar size differential between Serena Deeb and Camille. Absolutely. That's right, and I think since uh, since Camille walked into it. Into the cover, area, shoulders they, down. There. Up once again, Sky Blue trying to take advantage, and only a one count. And you know, Camille has made a point of talking about her size, you know, and how much advantage she has because of it. That's right, she, and she's conceded everything as far as experience and technical savvy goes, but she has that size that she is going to I mean, to nobody bear. looks like Camille, let's be honest. Right. Rising knee from Sky Blue, talking about technical ability. She's a very proficient striker. Comes in with that spinning leg kick into the corner. Looking to make a major impression in front of all of our folks watching around the world on YouTube. Looking for slice break number two. Shades of Brian Kendrick, shoulders down. One count, can you believe that? Just one. She's going for it again. Slice bread number four, perhaps, but no. Genocide had it scouted. Oh, no. Again, the better oh, no. presence there of Genocide. That's a dangerous position there, May. Trying to fight out. Oh, wow. Beautiful roll throw. Shoulders down. Two so close. Two. Oh, she got caught. And I think we knew. Oh, no. I'll count to a million. Oh, the winner of this match, it. Genocide! Wow. That was an emphatic statement to our entire women's division. Genocide with a major victory here on the pre-show. And you know she's eyeing for the Burke for the yeah. Women's World Championship. Folks, we got to keep moving along. Let's throw things back to Kyle Davis. Thank you again. Joining me at this time, the NWA World Tag Team Champions, Aaron Stevens and the most feared, Kratos. Welcome. So, I think really anybody who's been. My apologies, sir. 
But that just goes to show that everybody who's been watching the NWA Power Program can see that there's been some sort of, let's just say, some sort of disagreement between the two of you about what you should actually be doing in the ring. And tonight, the four-way match, you need to be on your top. As NWA champions, you've earned this. However, three other teams, if you're not on the same page, could be leaving the champion. First of all, on behalf of taste and decency, where did you get that outfit? <laughs> Someone had to say it. <laughs> However, moving on, you want to talk about him and I not being on the same page? You don't have to be on the same page to be in the same sentence. And that sentence is we are the NWA Tag Team Champions. Thank you. So as long as we got our heads in the game, the outcome will be the same. It's your turn. Obviously. Let me put a stamp on what you've already said. Because when I talk, people listen. You hired me to do a job. And the day you hired me is the day we became the tag team world champions. <laughs> is At least we agree on something. And let me tell you, by the looks of this shirt, you can see that the least important letters are X'd out because the W is all that matters. And I will do whatever it takes every time we step in that squared circle to get the W. No matter if we're on the same page or not. Big words from the champions there. We'll see what happens tonight. And until then, more action to come. That's right, we have a huge qualifying matchup coming up here on the pre-show. Luke Hawks with an amazing opportunity going up against Jeremiah Plunkett. The winner will qualify for a NWA television title opportunity. That's PJ's dad. That is PJ's dad. You know, I, I'm getting some word in my ear that uh, PJ is being attended to by our medical physician. Something happened oh, with wow. his leg. The following match is a qualifying match for the NWA television title. Entering the ring first from Tater Peel, Tennessee, at 235 pounds, this is Jeremiah Plunkett. He looks pretty focused now. I mean, this guy is a professional. He's been in the business for decades. Mm -hmm. He knows what this opportunity means. But at the same time, you've got to be a dad. You've got to be thinking about your kid out there. And on the his opponent table. is one half of Hawksire from New Orleans, Louisiana. Weighing it at 238 pounds, he is the Southern Stomper. He is Luke Hawks. And there's Luke Hawks there. There he is. There he is right there. But you know, Jeremiah Plunkett, he knows that this is a huge opportunity for himself as well to be able to go up and to go toe to toe with whoever, you know, well, I guess it would be the Pope. I mean, it's a non-title grudge match in our pay-per-view. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Right, the pride out of table for, for Jeremiah this. Plunkett. But uh, this is a, the occasion, right, Joe, where Luke up. has got to uh, hone his professionalism and experience and, and set those concerns aside because he's got a serious opponent in the ring right here with Jeremiah Plunkett. I'm telling you, this guy's been around, heavily respected, and uh, the slightest mistake, and Jeremiah Plunkett walks out here with this win. Beautiful transition there into the headlock. You know, no matter who wins this match, they, they have to be very interested in that grudge match going forward. Because if Tyrus does a, a bad enough job banging up, Pope, he could be easy pickings. That's right, that's right. And uh, again, when, when, in a grudge match, things become much more dangerous. You don't have the weight on you that you might normally have if you're the champion, and you've got everything to gain if you're if you're in Tyrus's position. So they're definitely, uh, they don't want to look past each other, but that's definitely in the back of their minds. Behind there by Luke Fox, great transition. They're standing switch there by Plunkett. Beautiful drop toe hold. Luke Hawks himself, a fantastic pedigree. Uh, you know, has been a uh, champion in multiple promotions. He's been around, he's run his own wrestling school uh, that's graduated some of the top talents. I, I, I hate to inter interrupt you two, but I am getting another medical alert. It might be PJ oh, no. might have to actually head to a nearby medical facility. He would be out here with his father. He would be out here cheering him on, but uh, something happened 
put that dragon screw into the middle rope. PJ doesn't get to watch this. I feel bad too. I hope everything's going to be okay. As his father hooks the leg, looking for an opportunity to be the number one contender for the television championship. Innovative offense there. Jeremiah Punkett, that's one way to use your head. And then, oh, plants him down. What a backbreaker. What? Scott Wheeler only counting one. That's just some old old school that's offense, all, right, Doc? That's all it is, old ground offense. That's the kind of offense they, they teach in the neck of the woods that, uh, that Plunkett runs around with. Middle Tennessee, one of the most vibrant areas of professional wrestling in the world. You would know. Absolutely. A lot of history there. We know a lot of fans are in that area watching our YouTube. Right now into the cover. But folks, if you want to catch even hotter action, when our shadows fall, starting at the top of the hour, 4 o'clock on Fight TV, you still have time to order the pay-per-view. I didn't notice, and I didn't know if it was intentional or not, but Kyle uh, Davis likes to throw these little jabs from time to time. He, he announced Jeremiah Plunkett from Tater Peel, just like he uh, insinuated that, that Nick Aldis had been trying to intentionally hold back Trevor Murdoch or that. Like that. I mean, I do agree with him, honestly. I, I don't know. I, as I feel like Nick is, is somewhat scared of Trevor oh, Murdoch. So bad, oh, I feel like there's a lot of people that share that opinion. Though. Yeah, and We've seen it time and time with the actions that he's taken in the weeks leading up to this monumental pay-per-view here in downtown Atlanta at the NWA Arena. I'm so excited to watch GPB that, GPB Studios. Oh, That's yeah. absolutely laughable. I mean, Trevor has worked really, really hard for this. You know, he's a hardworking man, and nothing comes easy for Trevor. So. That's right. And you don't just get to wake up one day and say, oh, I work hard, and therefore I've earned this shot. You know? Well, I don't think he just woke up one day. He's been consistently working towards this. He's been consistently working, but then you've had, you've had this blatant, what appears to me to be a blatant conspiracy between President William Patrick Hogan and perhaps yourself, Joe Galley. Well, we, we've heard all about your conspiracy theories on this. Uh, this, this is pro wrestling podcast. Easy for me to say, as I'm also trying to focus on the action that's happening in the ring. These two men fighting Ouch. to be the number one contender for the NWA World Television Championship. I was just trying to make the point that showed Jeremiah Plunkett some respect. He's not from Tater Peel. He's from Tater Peeler, Tennessee. That's all I'm trying to say, Joe. And thank you to all of our great fans in Tater Peeler watching us live on YouTube right now. This is the pride of Taylor Peeler. And I like how you just subtly obscured the fact you can't hear the facts. Into the spine cool. buster, stacks him up. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. I don't care where you're from, but if you can deliver a spine buster like that, I would be afraid to wrestle you for sure. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Oh, Solid forearm there. Yeah. Definitely targeting the back of this matchup. Now trying to stretch him out, put him in that bow and arrow position. Look at the way he's driving his knee into the small of the back. Come on, Luke. No. No. No hawks. No hawks. And you can see the pain on, on Luke Hawks' face there. I was cheering for him. That's right, they are coming alive here in the NWA arena. So Our, nice to hear a crowd back It is so great to have these folks back. It's so exciting. Hawks able to get back to his feet. Plunkett with a vicious right hand gets caught. Oh, oh. The kick that caught him right in the nose. Ouch. Unable to capitalize. He's had so much damage in this matchup. He's trying to collect himself, trying to catch his breath. Line there. Fox is ready to fly. Got the leg, Larry, into the cover there. Oh, so close. Once again, we're talking about a matter of millimeters there, Joe. Yep. Really surprised he can keep his focus, you know, knowing that his son is Well, I, that's the thing. It's like all he knows is his son isn't at his side. He's not here. I don't know if he knows the full extent of what's happening with PJ. Maybe not. Well, and then, oh, my wow. goodness, what a power slam. He's focused on the task at hand, and that's, oh, I was about to say you won it. Almost. Jeremiah Plunkett, he is one tough customer. Heart and determination, skill, strength. Resilience Come and on. grit. Come Again, on. a middle Tennessee. Oh, what a headbutt. Oh, great back break.
breaker there. Fantastic maneuver. Will be enough. Oh, oh, so close. And now Plunkett, he's wondering, what do I need to do? A little interesting uh, uh, fact here for you, Joe. Jeremiah Plunkett held a version of uh, a Southern Heavyweight Championship that was held on multiple times by the late, great uh, Joseph Hudson, Josephus. So let's share a common path there, and of course they're trying to extend that lineage of excellent competition here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Absolutely. And now both of these men are in a very precarious position here. He's trying to take advantage. Oh no, what is he thinking here? And again, the stakes couldn't be higher in, in this one. Uh, oh, my oh, my oh my God. Power slam off of the Damn. middle rope. Oh, the winner of this match, Luke Hawks. Luke Hawks now a qualifier for one of the most prestigious historically. I mean, congratulations to him. Once again, we'll try to get a, a medical update on PJ throughout the evening. But I mean, what an opportunity that Luke Hawks has there. And, and folks, you have an opportunity to see the best wrestling on God's green earth. The Win Our Shadows Fall pay-per-view starts in just a few minutes. It is streaming live from the NWA arena right here on Fight TV. You still have a few minutes. Go online, order that pay-per-view. It, it's going to be a barn burner. You will not regret it. And you heard the champ say that the weight of history is in the room. There's only been a handful of people in the history of the world to ever reach that mythical 1,000-day milestone, and Nick Aldis is poised to make that run. I've got my money on Nick tonight. Well, you know, you say that, but I feel like a lot of this crowd here at the NWA Arena, they're looking for Trevor Murdoch to yeah. add his name in history. Trevor Murdoch well, is a favorite. I've ran the algorithm. I'm a doctor. It doesn't make me, make me right, but it certainly makes me informed. And I'm telling you, tomorrow when we wake up, I'm going to be saying hashtag and still your real world heavyweight champion. Nick we'll see about Day that, doctor. Well, that's going to be our main event. Lots of other action as well. We do have our NWA World Tag Team titles that are going to be on the line in a triple threat matchup as well. And of course, we have Camille taking on Serena Deeb. I mean, it is going to be strength versus technical ability. It's going to be an incredible matchup. Lots of other action as well. We have the grudge match between Tyrus and Pope. And... Uh, you know, the action here in the NWA, this entire past season of NWA Power has led to this moment, led to this opportunity where we have so many men and women that look to etch their name in history in the National Wrestling Alliance. Woo! It is going to be an amazing pay-per-view. You do not want to miss it. It will be the talk of wrestling, the talk of this sport, yeah! what we are so passionate about, what these people are passionate about, what I'm passionate about. I'm fired up. Can you tell? Can you tell? Best Hell yeah. Fire. All right, Best folks, fire. that's our time. We are going to be live on Fight TV in just a minute. I hope to see you there.